It's been a peculiar adventure at the Hub Theater here in Hollywood. Mr. Hurley, a fellow playwright and friend of Suman's, has not been heard from for weeks, and no one seems to have any idea what has happened to him. While some insisted Hurley was a loner who conferred only with Suman, especially in light of the rumor, the no story may have been based on Hurley's real-life experiences. In the story, the lead character becomes entangled with a prostitute who has connections with the Russian Mafia. Shades of Blood, another story by Robert Hurley and adapted by Vitaly Suman, adds a bizarre wrinkle to this mystery. Shades of Blood, about a sect of blood drinkers, is also reportedly based on Hurley's real-life experiences. So Vitaly Suman, writer, producer, and director of the film, sat with us and explained that the production of the film had been halted due to his inability to reach Bob Hurley. The question is, do you really think that he's messing to, around with you, or do you think that maybe something happened? in Texas, I don't know if this guy played a game, and I actually liked it in the beginning. Because I didn't know if it's game, or it's for real, or whatever. He was just in the parking lot. Yeah, he was just in the parking Hurley, I think I just saw him. There's a car. Yeah, where are you seeing? Which car? Right there, right there. Right. He was right here. He was right here, and he was... <laughs> Yula. You know what? Yeah, I will fire you from this field. Thank you. Robert? It's dark. What do you got there? It looks like a diary, journal sort of thing. Like, he writes a lot of stories in here. Uh, cult wants to become vampires, worship Satan, to get... And then in the back, he's got this whole extended section on... Uh, like a cult, and there's all these ripped out pages. Do you think he left it there? I mean, do you think he's playing a game with us? And maybe this is like a clue or something? A cat and mouse game or something? What are we doing? We're making a movie. We're not doing anything. Well, I come home to my apartment, and there's these two guys there that assault me. They knock me against the wall. They put like a bag or something over my head. They told me to stop doing what I was doing. They, they mentioned specifically this particular film, this particular script.